the past week, I have decided to challenge myself to create a video game within one week. Within one week, I have gone from a ship on the screen that moves towards an object to having a complete game with a colony ship to escort, two fighters that are controlled by the player, and a handful of enemies. Although only two types of enemies exist, that does not stop the non-stop chaos that is in Colony. So why did I choose this project? Number one, it was an option for a second week assignment in TCH 115 Thinking Strategies. Two, I love game development. I'm a hobbyist. I describe myself as an indie developer even though I've never really released a whole lot. And I am a game programming major at UAT. Third, I had a good idea. For a previous class, I created a 3D game in Unity called Colony. The game was very simple in that you had to defend a colony transport to another planet from waves of incoming enemy ships. I wanted to recreate this game in Game Maker as a 2D game. I felt that getting rid of the third dimension would make this a better game. It would also remove an unsavory bug in which the player ship or enemy ship could be pushed by colliding with one another. Although I blame myself for having a limited knowledge of Unity. One thing that made this easy is that I have attempted a game similar to this a few years before in high school, so I already had some assets created. This game has also been featured in one of my videos before, but it has sadly been lost to time. So all the artwork in this game, except for the explosion assets, have been made by me. I also found a sound pack for spaceships on itch.io, so I nabbed that as well. I have to admit, sound design is not my thing, though instead of five sounds as required for this game, there are four. Both the explosion and the laser have alternate sounds. So two sounds plus two alternate sounds leaves a total of four sounds. So I almost got there. But like I said, sound design is not my thing. Finding the perfect button click or the best soundtrack for the game would be a real challenge. You may notice in some of this footage that there seems to be a pixelated 02 that uh, the ships seem to go to. In fact, some of the enemy ships at one point were this 02. Uh, I happen to really like anime, and I needed a placeholder. Um, although I had some enemy ships, I just decided to have a placeholder, especially for the end goal of the game, to get the colony ship to the atmosphere, which at the time was this 02 sprite. So since I already had some assets, I pretty much only needed a colony ship. So I turned on my iPad, went into Procreate, and while I don't have an Apple Pencil, I have a knockoff Apple Pencil, and I just drew up this quick little diagram of a colony ship, and I eventually translated that into pixel art, which gives us the colony ship we see in the game today. Although, unfortunately, the cannon does not do anything. I also created a design document for this game. Uh, as you can see, there's two fighters, a colony ship, and you can see the elite and normal enemies. And I pretty much have implemented everything that I wrote down on here. There's an end goal. That end goal happens to look like an atmosphere. You pretty much... Well, you don't exactly click to move, you do select units and targets, and the whole idea was to create a game that you could play with a mouse, so you can like left click to select an enemy or a player, uh, you can right click to uh, make the player shoot if you have one selected, and pressing the middle mouse button actually does something really cool, it will get the nearest enemy to the mouse cursor, and it will select them. So overall, it's just very simple controls. The only thing that is, you know, not controlled by the mouse is entering full screen, which you can just press F11 for. So the game itself is relatively simple. In fact, the first level can be played by the game intelligence alone. In my time at UAT, I have written two papers on finite state machines, and I have, you know, worked in Game Maker before with some artificial intelligence, so to speak. So I sort of know what sort of ideas I need for a ship intelligence. So while the game can be played by itself, especially in the first level, and you should pretty much win, the second and third level require some divine intervention from the player. To put it simply, there's not a lot of randomness in the game, and Game Maker, like the restrictions of most computer software, 
always follow a certain pattern of pseudo randomness and it's always going to be the same unless a new seed is entered into the game however that's not really going to do much for our game since uh, there's not a lot of randomness at all pretty much the only random thing is when the colony ship explodes I randomize some smaller explosions around the central one which you may not even see because of the game over screen but I did put in that effort and I am very proud of it. So the game intelligence never really has to choose anything random so it's very unlikely that the two fighters will kill all the enemies and complete the level in both level 2 and 3. Therefore the player will need to use mouse input to you know guide the fighters along. Just leaving the game AI to play the second and third level it's pretty much just game over. It's just gonna lose. You're gonna have to get in there, you're gonna have to help that AI and win the level. Now there is some code that prevents fighters from leaving the screen. On the Y axis, there's about a 30 pixel um, area that they can go off screen both above and below. And on the X axis, it's pretty much locked into the view of the camera so they can't go all the way to the left um of of the of the level it's going to be blocked by the camera there is about i'd say another 30 pixels that they can enter and on the right side of the x-axis there's an extra 1400 pixels which is pretty overkill but based on how the avoidance code works like if a fighter gets too close to its target it's going to try to avoid a collision even though they can just pass right through each other it just adds for some interesting movements in the game in that um, movement they may go off screen for a little bit however the avoidance code will always try and it'll clamp the value that it needs always within the um, the view of the camera so there's not going to be much off screen if a fighter goes off screen if anything it's really going to hide some of the um, wonky movements it's going to do to try and correct itself because clamping the values if it needs to reach like a value higher than uh, negative 30 on y it's going to be a little difficult for it so it's just going to just kind of sit there and just kind of turn until it can move back down into the screen again it's pretty much overkill but it does allow for some things to be hidden when it comes to the intelligence so you win the game once all the enemy fighters are destroyed and if the enemies destroy the colony ship the game is lost there are also two variants of enemies a normal type with some stats lower than the players and an elite enemy which has more health faster speed and can fire lasers faster but both types can be beaten relatively easily and even swarms of enemies are no match for the two fighters and the player that guides them so right now the game only has three levels but i really hope to add more and the idea of only using mouse input was to make the game sort of easier to just translate and port over to mobile which is something i would be happy to attempt and if it hasn't been clear yet this game is more than just a class project it was a challenge to myself and ultimately it was a labor of love so in conclusion this project has been a labor of love and a personal challenge to myself I have come out with some new knowledge about the Game Maker game engine, an engine that I have been using for years by the way, and I am very proud of my user interface design. Game Maker doesn't really have a lot going for it in terms of uh, easily designing a user interface. I would say Unreal has probably been the easiest for me, and Unity, mm, a bit shaky with user interface in that, but it, you know, pretty much like Unreal. But Game Maker, there's apparently nothing. You're just, you know, pretty much let let loose. Um, and I have heard it's something that Yo-Yo Games hopes to improve on. And, um, but I've been hearing that for a little while now. And it doesn't seem much progress has been made. So I'm very proud of designing a user interface. And I can't wait to use more of this knowledge in future games. So there is a download to this game down in the description. I hope you will all check it out. Uh, also a link to the project board. And um, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. It's been very fun and uh, kind of stressful, but 
ultimately fun and I'm very proud of this project. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Boop, <laughs> boop,